so hello friends uh, in this video we will see how we can load dynamic component inside a main component means we have a main component like app component or ts file and inside this component we will render a particular component we will switch to a particular component dynamically means uh, let's say we have multiple child components and we have one main component inside main component we will show one child component at a time and it, I, we will change it uh, dynamically means uh, one child at one time second uh, again next time it will be second uh, means we can switch any one of them so let's uh, see how we can do this basically so let's first create the component and we have to run the command ng generate component let's say inside a dynamic folder let's say form one we will create form in every every child component so we are creating child component so again we create form two again we create form three so we have three different components here form one form two form three and you can see app module or ts file is automatically updated it means all the components created components are registered inside app module or ts file so now let's start the coding you can see inside dynamic folder all three components are available form one form two form three so now let's go to component.ts file it is our main component where we switch to dynamically all the components so let's import all created component here dynamic form one form component so let's copy this and paste it again and again so let's replace one by two one by three inside here also so we all important we have imported all the different components here inside main component.ts file now let's declare a variable default component it means we define a default component here it means when the, when this main component will load which child component will be loaded first at the initialization time so let's define this dot default component as form one component and now makes makes a method switch component and we let's put a parameter here and inside this method let's put if condition if val is equal to form one else if form val is equal to form 2 2 and else if val is equal to form 3 and inside if each if condition let's in slice default com as form one component inside this dot default component is form two component this dot default component as form three component so this method is completed and method this method explains well that when this method called based on parameter 
the default component is switched so now let's go to html part of this app component and so this is the html let's paste a html here so let's modify this html let's say forms and inside list let's write and on each list click function we bind this method switch bell and inside this let's replace bell as form one sorry form one and now let's repeat this again inside each list and we have to change form one as two now one as three so this is the method it's uh, will explain that uh, whenever this list will call it will will click this method will call switch com and uh, this method will do accordingly wh what we have right wrote here so now let's build a let's write a angular directive ng content and ng content we have a property ng component outlet and where we have to bind the default parameter default component variable so so now whenever this default component is changed html is binded accordingly inside this ng content so now let's check on the browser so you can see whenever this list will be clicked default com will be changed and content inside ng content tag will be bind accordingly so whenever default com is form one form com com one tell html element is shown here will showing here and same accordingly will be happened one by one so now let's check on the browser so before checking we have to call the ng serve here so we are on browser and you can see the default component value is form one so it form one is showing here that html is showing here and when i switch to form two it will it change to form two component now form three so this is the way we can switch to different component accordingly in the main main component file hope you like this if you like this please subscribe the channel like the video we'll back soon with some other video thank you